Hi, my name is Jan Smith from CompuSew with Jan. I also have a Yahoo group called CompuSew with Jan. I am in my Premier Plus Embroidery Extra software, and what you are looking at are a couple of heart designs I created using a couple of the super designs. These designs can also be created in your 6D software and in the 5D software. In the 5D software, you'll be working with the Motif tab, and that's in the control panel, and then you'll be working with mini designs. With Valentine's Day approaching fast, I thought it'd be fun for you just to play around in your software creating these same designs. And then you can just use your own imagination to expand on the lesson. We'll be working in the Home tab, the Super Design tab, and the Modify tab. The Modify tab is your Editing tab. And in your 6D and 5D software, this will say Edit tab. I'm going to start off with just one super design, and that will be the one that I use to create this design, and then I'll go on to this design. Basically, you're going to be using the same technique for both of these, although in one design, I'm going to have to rotate a design, and then on this one, I'll be removing some of the little circles. One thing that you're going to notice in your super designs is that they will have green handles for editing purposes like changing the shape of a design or selecting the different options in the properties and you'll do that before you can convert to an embroidered design we're not going to be using any of those options so all we're going to do is just fix it as stitches which will convert the design to an embroidered design with those stitches then the green handles will be white handles the tools we're going to use the most are copy and paste and combine. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this design and what I need to do first is to go into my super design tab. I have my categories over here. I'm going to open this little down arrow and since I know it's going to be one of the wreath designs I'm going to click on that and I can't see all the designs because I have a shorter window that I'm using to create the video but you will be able to see all your designs right in this area but I can open up this little down arrow here and I can see them there and this is the design I want to get and I want to change the size of this I want to change it to 18 millimeters in height let me click apply because by the time I put all of these together I don't want it too wide in case I want to do something in the 200 by 200 miller, millimeter hoop and I want everything to fit in there. So let me zoom in a little bit on this part of the design and notice we have the green handles. Now I want to create stitches out of this but before I do that I want you to see the difference in the size of this one. I've rotated the design up here and if I put this on the center of my hoop here, the vertical center, you can see how much wider this would be. So what I want to do is rotate it to put it closer together. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to put this on the vertical line. Actually, I'll just put it in the center. It makes it a little easier for you to see. And I'm not going to change the color of the handles right now. I'm going to leave it the way it is so you can see what would happen if you do not fix this as stitches. First, let me rotate it. And I'm just going to move this over so the tip of this will be on that vertical line and give me an idea how close I am. Looks like I'm too close to the center. So let me just pull this back a little bit. And that doesn't look too bad. I don't think it's as close as the one on top. But let me look. Nope, it's not. It doesn't really matter that much, but I'm just going to try to duplicate it just for you. And I think I'm going to leave it like that. So like I said, I'm going to leave the green handles in there and I'm going to go to my Home tab. I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to flip this horizontally. And when I use the arrow key on my keyboard and move this over, you can immediately tell that they're not going to line up the same. That's because this needs to be fixed as stitches. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to select the design again and I'm just going to go up here to Combine and fixes stitches. And notice how the, my selection box changes. So let's put this back on the vertical line of my hoop. Now we'll copy paste, copy paste, and we're going to flip it. Now I'm going to use my arrow key just to move it over and you can see how much better this works. 
and I'm just going to put the selection handle on the right side. How about that? So now I want to select this so I can combine them. I'm just going to go up here and you're going to be able to see box select, but I'm going to have to open up this little arrow and click on my box select. And I'm just going to select both of these. And then I'm going to go up to combine, combine selected. If I had chosen combine all, then this top design would have been included. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the other designs back to super design. The next size I want is 16 millimeters, and I'm just going to apply. Then I want 14 millimeters, and apply. And I want 12 millimeters, and apply. There is an accompanying PDF file. I call it an addendum because it isn't complete instructions, but it gives you all the settings that you're going to need and you'll have images to follow. And these settings will be in there for you. So all I really want to do now is to kind of line these up to where they look good. I'm just going to use some of my grid line. Put them, uh, I think this is too far, too close together. I just move that over a little bit, try to make this one pretty close. And again, this one, I'm just going to move this up here on this grid line. They're about a grid line apart and put them together. That looks pretty good. I might want to put them a little bit closer together. This one especially. You can also just group these three and put them together too, but I think this is going to look okay. So now what I need to do is select all three of these so I can move them together at the same time. I'm going to go back to my home tab and I'm going to use my control key on my keyboard and I'm going to select each one of these. You could go in here and use freehand select or freehand point select but I want to show you how you can do it this way. So I'm going to hold down my control key. I have one of the designs selected. I'm going to click on the next one and the next one. Now I want to flip these horizontally again but there is no little tool here for me to click on to flip them so I do need to combine them. So back up to combine and combine selected. Now you can see the little arrow here. So what I need to do is to copy this and paste it and flip the pasted one and then again use the arrow key to get this over to the other side of the heart. You could just pick it up and put it over there, but this just works just as good, if not better, and it doesn't take very long. Again, I'm just kind of guessing as to where I want to place this. I'm just using parts of the design to look at just to get it just right, and that looks just about right to me. I'm comparing these two little ones. Now what I need to do is to combine all of these and again, I can go up here to my box select. Let me just move this over a little bit. I'm going to go to box select and just draw around all of this. And then again, combine selected. I'm going to delete the top one because we don't need that anymore. I just used it as a guide. And now we want to see how this is going to embroider. So over here, we have a design player. Let me just click on that one time. And I'm going to just start it right here, click on play, and notice, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit, notice it's going to embroider exactly the way we brought each part into the software. So you're going to have some pretty good jump stitches over here. Let me show you that again. And this is the first one, the next one here, and the next one of these three, then it pops back over here because we uh, copied and pasted and flipped it. So I'm going to cancel out there. Well, that is not acceptable to me for embroidery. I don't want those jump stitches, so I am going to go ahead and change the color sewing order. So I need to select my design and go into the Modify tab. And if you're in the 6D and 5D software, you'll click on your Edit tab. I'm going to pull my window down so you can see all of the color stops. There we go. And when I hold my cursor up here, it shows the very first design that came into the hoop. 
and this is how it wants to embroider now. Well, I want this one over here on the left-hand side to embroider first, and right now it's down here at the very bottom. So if I click on that one time, use this up arrow, and pull that all the way up to the very first, see it's the same one, put it in number one position, now I have it embroidering first. So then this one is the next one, click on it, be sure you have it highlighted, move that up to the second position, see, do the same one with this one, bring it up to the third position, see, now the next one to embroider right now would be the very first one we brought in, but I don't want that in the fourth position. I want this one in the fourth position, so all I have to do is click on that one time and move it up. Now the rest of them should just follow order. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Now they're in a good color sewing order. That's all you have to do. I'm going to go back to my home tab. I could combine these now and I would suggest you do that before you export it. And all you have to do for that is to color sort them. So I'm combining all the color stops by just clicking on color sort. And now there's only one color of thread. If by some chance you did want a different color for each one of these, then you would change the color of your color stops before you color sorted. So let's get on with the next one. Okay, I'm back with the red design, the red super designs. I'm just going to hold my left mouse button down and just kind of move this up. And I'm going to go back to my super design. And this time I'm going to select music. And let me open this up. And here's the design I want. Again, I'm going to use 18 millimeters. So I'm just going to click Apply. Again, I'm going to zoom in on this. And I'm not going to do any rotation because this will work just fine, but I want to delete a couple of these little designs. So I need to go into my Modify tab to do that. Now I'm going to click on Modify. And because I did not right click on this or go into Combine and fix this as stitches, the Modify tab is telling me that it will do it for me. So I'm going to say OK and it puts me right into the tab. So I'm just going to go up here and click on my freehand select. You can use any of the selection tools and I'm just going to draw around these two little circle designs and I'm going to delete them. And that's all there is to it. Back to my home tab. Again, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other heart. Looks like I could have got it a little closer together there. I'm just going to put this on that vertical line. I'm going to copy paste. I'm going to mirror images horizontally. Use my left arrow to get this over here. Hold my control key down, select the other part, go into combine and combine selected. And of course if I did not have this design up here in the hoop, I would have chosen combine all. So I'm not going to go through the process of bringing each one of these in, except just to tell you when you get to the number 12 millimeter size, go ahead and leave those two little uh, circle designs in there. And that's all there is to it. I deleted that little heart here because there's one of the things I'd like to show you with one of the designs that I created from this. What I did is I just clicked on this, I copied it and pasted it, and I want to mirror image this vertically. So you can just click on the top arrow up there, bring this down, you need to center it, you could use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay, so now I have this mirror image this way and what I want you to see is how this will embroider if I just leave it this way. So I'm going to click on the design player, we're going to just click on the play and I'm just going to fast forward this because we already know the original design is going to sew from the left to the right. When I copied it and pasted it, I flipped it vertically so again it's going to sew from the vertical left to the right which gives you a great big jump stitch right here. You would jump from this design over to this design. I'm just going to cancel out of here. You can eliminate that long jump stitch by just mirroring this horizontally. Just flip this horizontally. I just did that by clicking on it. Now let's see how it embroiders. 
going to fast forward here. Now you have a shorter jump stitch. You could get the same results just by using your rotate 45 degree a few times and put it in the same position. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on creating a couple of beautiful heart designs just by using this super design in your software. Thank you for joining me. Bye now.